everyone, my name is Emily. I'm an educator with the Virginia Living Museum and I'm here to show you guys today a really cool upcycle craft. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upcycling something that really isn't that easy to recycle and that would be our plastic straws. So most of the time plastic straws end up in our trash cans because they're not the type of plastic that many places can recycle. But what can we do with them instead? So rather than throw these away, why don't we make something really cool out of them instead? So what we're going to be turning our plastic straws into today is a glider. So we're going to make this really cool aerodynamic glider for you guys to play with in order to upcycle our plastic straw. So to make this glider, there are a few materials you're going to need to collect beforehand. First, you're going to need a piece of cardstock or you're going to need a piece of construction paper. So you're going to need something that's a little bit thicker than your traditional computer paper. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need tape of some sort. I have packing tape, but scotch tape or masking tape will work perfectly fine. And then you'll need your plastic straw as well. So go ahead and pause this video to take a moment to collect these materials. And when you're ready to make a really cool glider, Press the play button. Now that we have all of our materials collected, let's get started. So we're going to start off with our piece of cardstock or construction paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut two strips out. Now you can do this one of two ways. The way that I'm going to do it is to cut short strips along the short edge of our paper. But if you want to try something different and see how it glides with longer strips, you could do it along the long edge of your paper as well. But I'm going to show you how to do it with the short edge first. So along your short edge, you're going to cut two strips. And the size of the strip you're going to need is just about one inch. And so for me, one inch is the two finger rule. So if I put two fingers here and put them on the edge of my paper, and cut right next to it, so make a little notch right here. That is just about one inch. So I want to cut all the way down here to make my very first strip. So I'm going to go ahead and make my first one inch strip. So there's my first strip of paper. And then I can use this strip as my guide for my second strip. So I'll line this one up with that edge that I just created and I'll cut along the other edge so that I have two equal strips. So go ahead and make your cut for your second strip here, just along the edge of that first strip. There we go. And I have two about equal strips of paper. So this is what's actually going to make your glider glide in the air. So with the first strip, we're going to keep as is. We want one big strip of paper and one small strip of paper. So with your second strip, you're going to take it and you're going to fold it directly in half lengthwise. So now you have a shorter piece of paper. However, we don't want it doubly thick, so we are going to have to cut it in half. So open your strip back up, and now that we have this nice little crease, we have a guideline for where we want to cut. So go ahead and take your pair of scissors and cut along that crease or that guideline. And now we have two smaller pieces. So we won't need the second small piece, you can set that aside. And you don't need your big piece of paper anymore either. The only thing you're going to need are your two different strips, your one long strip and your one short strip. So we're first going to turn these into circles. So you're going to need a piece of tape and you're going to need to loop it around onto itself like that and tape it together. So I have some pre-cut pieces of tape here and I'm going to just tape right over the edge so that I can make my first loop. So I taped it over my edge right there so that it's all one big loop. So that's my first loop. Now we need to make our smaller loop. So again, same thing. Take your piece of paper, loop it around to make a tiny circle. Take another piece of tape and tape over those edges. Now 
And there we go. So that's my taped over edge right there. And there's my other tiny little circle. So now we've got the front end of our glider and the back end of our glider, and we need to be able to put them together. So to put them together, this is where our plastic straw comes into place. So this is going to be kind of like the spine. So this is going to be the backbone of our glider to make it a full airplane that we can throw and watch it fly. So we want to start with our big circle that we just made. And you're going to stand it upright on your table so that it's standing up off of our table. You're going to take your straw and you want to place it over that seam. So where you connected those two pieces of paper together, you're going to place your straw on the inside and you're going to tape it to those two seams. So it should be taped right there over top of where we have the seam. So straw is on the inside of the circle over those seams. So take your next piece of tape here, place this on your table, place your straw inside over top of that seam, use a piece of tape and cover it on top so that the straw is now attached to your circle. So there we go. Now we got a cute little flag going on but this will soon become our glider. So the straw is taped to the inside crease that we just made with our circle. And the smaller one, we're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna to go to the very front of the straw. So we're gonna go ahead, place the circle flat on our table. So just like that, so it stands up. Place our straw inside of the circle. Take our last piece of tape and we're going to tape it to the inside. This one's a little bit trickier just because the hole is smaller. So take your time making sure that this piece of tape sticks. But you wanna cover that line where you made the two pieces come together to make the loop. And there you go. That is your completed glider. So the circles actually allow it for it to catch the air and gently glide wherever you throw it. So we're gonna take a moment to go outside real quick and see how this guy glides. Come and follow me. All right, welcome to my backyard. Here's the glider that we just made together. I'm gonna to give it a little toss and let's see how it glides. gentle glider there. Well, I hope you guys had fun doing this upcycle craft with me, finding a cool new way to reuse our plastic straws. If you were able to make a glider or shot a cute little video of you throwing it, we would love to see it. Feel free to post it on any one of our social media platforms. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.